I want is solutions, and I'm going to bring solutions to the table. I spent a year writing this book, which, which has a potential savings of $1 billion a year. And my opponents have all been in office in 2006 when they did the study. Not one single effort was done to cut the cost of government. In fact, they increased the budget by $1.3 billion. My book says we should regionalize services, compartmentalize them, if you will, so we don't have five police departments up in northwest Orange County and five building departments and five, four fire departments. We can regionalize them without lowering the cost, the quality of the service and dramatically lower the cost of government to the taxpayers of Orange County. We have to. If we don't, our economy will be in permanent recession. We have to lower the cost of the taxpayer so they have some disposable income to spend in our small business economy. You just brought up a big word, regional. But there's one regional effort that you completely disagree with. You said that SunRail was the most corrupt piece of legislation that I've seen in local government in my history. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, SunRail, number one, SunRail is unconstitutional. In 2003, uh, Mobility 2020 had commuter rail in it, and it was put on the ballot with a dedicated funding source, and the voters said, we the people said, no, we don't want it. And then they decided to do an end run around the Constitution and do it without voter approval. What they're doing right now is they're putting SunRail on the, on the credit card, hoping there's a funding source down the road. My research shows that SunRail will lose roughly $100 million a year. We have no money to pay for that. So if the voters say no to a dedicated funding source in the future, we're going to have to cut services like Do you believe like all transportation should pay for itself? Uh, no, but I think that we should take links into the 21st century and use links because we have a 360-degree market. A single train going from point A to point B is not going to solve our transportation problems. We need to have links be a, a, a get away from hub and spoke and into a series of jitneys, 15-passenger vans, that can take people from where they work to where they live effectively and efficiently. SunRail is not an effective transportation solution. But you don't want to add an additional funding source for Lynx to do that. No, I think that Lynx has adequate funding right now if we revolutionize it and bring it to the 21st century.